Good morning, and welcome to St. Mother Theodore Guerin Parish. Today is the 18th Sunday in Ordinary Time. As we come together at the table of the Lord, let us turn to our neighbor and say hello. hello. Our gathering song is we Gather Your People, found in your journey songbook number 768. Again, in your journey songbook number 768. Please stand. Each of us called to walk in your light. Gather your people, O oh Lord. Gather your people, O oh Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O oh Lord. We are parts of the body of Christ. Needing each other, each of the gifts the Spirit, Spirit provides. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. 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 One bread, one body, one Spirit of love. Gather your people, O Lord. No more harm on the mind. To plowshares, free us, Lord, from hardness of hearts. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your, with your spirit. spirit. As we gather here to celebrate the Holy Eucharist, and all the readings today reflect upon what is the priority in our life. Do we put God first, or what is the most important? Where do we find happiness in our life? If we find happiness in other things other than God, I think we need to come to the Lord and acknowledge and ask the Lord for forgiveness so that we always pray and try to ask the Lord so that we always try to be faithful and closer to him in our lives. You have come to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You have come to save sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the 
sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Vanity of vanities, says Koheleth. Vanity of vanities, all things are vanity. Here is one who has labored with wisdom and knowledge and skill, and yet to another who has not labored over it, he must leave property. This also is vanity and a great misfortune. For what profit comes to a man from all the toil and anxiety of heart with which he has labored under the sun? All his days, sorrow and grief, is his occupation. Even at night, his mind is not at rest. This also is vanity. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Our response this morning is if today you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. <laughs>
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. Put to death, then, the parts of you that are earthly, immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and the greed that is idolatry. Stop lying to one another, since you have taken off the old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed for knowledge in the image of its creator. Here, there is not Greek and Jew, circumcision and uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, slave, free. But Christ is all and in all. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He replied to him, Friend, who appointed me as your judge and arbiter? said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed, for though one may be rich, one's life does not consist of possessions. Then he told them a parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, What shall I do, for I do not have space to store my harvest? And he said, this is what I shall do. I shall tear down my barns and build larger ones. There I shall store all my grain and other goods, and I shall say to myself, Now, as for you, you have so many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this night your life will be demanded of you. And the things you have prepared to long. Thus will it be for all who store up treasure for themselves, but are not rich in what matters to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to No vanity of vanities, all things of vanities we heard in the book of Ecclesiastes today. And vanity in Hebrews means 
by something without substance, like a puff of smoke, something can pass by very fast. And he talk about you know life is like that. You know our life will pass by. Sometimes you see when we experiment experience, if you see like a firework, when you experience beautiful firework, but in a few seconds it disappear. And he re, he compare that our life is just a temporary. So we need to not to focus, you know, on things that are earthly life, like Saint Paul tell us, but on things in heaven. And if we will. Focus all on material, all the things will be dis- disappointed. You know that's the gospel today, like Jesus tell us in today's gospel about. You know, there's a man who came to Jesus and asked him to share his brother inheritance. And Jesus, I'm not a church, I'm not an arbit- arbitrator. And he said, you know, with all the greetings, the greetings. You know, greetings sometimes very dangerous. And he told the parable of the rich farmer. He always worried about himself, and he thought he got a lot of, you know, store a lot of possession, a lot of things, and he wants to store all the things that he has. And he said, if he build more barn, he put all the things in there, he will be happy, be married, and enjoy his life. But Jesus said, "You fool! If tonight the Lord call you." You cannot take all of us. And I think that experience that we learn in our lives sometimes very easy. You know, for me and for maybe for you as well, it's very easy to focus on things. And we feel like if we have power, if we have money, if we have you know pleasure, which means we will have everything in life. But just think about it. You know, there's a lot of many millionaires who are not happy. Who ended up, you know, their life is become miserable, and people have money doesn't mean that they will find true happiness. Yes, we all have need monies in our life. If you don't need money, you can give it to me. But I think we all need money. We all need money. But sometimes money is like keep controlling us instead of we use the money to help us in our life to help our spiritual life. To help us to share, have to be generous. That's the way that life should be. You know, on Friday there's one person displayed who won the lottery. I don't know any of you who are here. It's from display. I need to see you. <laughs> but I, but I think even if that person maybe at now he's worried about, and I think that's nothing wrong with having a lot of money. But if we know how to use that money, as I said, and this money or possession is just the instrument, the tool to help us to live our happy life by trying to help other people, by trying to continue to bring, you know, joy in our midst and to help those who are in need. You know, I have a friend I used to know a year ago, and. I went on vacation with her family, and on vacation she told me the story I never heard about. She said she had cancer, like five, six years ago, and stayed three when she found out. And she said, "I worked, you know, very hard. I owned two restaurants, and the restaurant went ran very, very well. And I don't have to worry about money. But it happened when I found." You know, I said, "Now I have to take care of myself." And she was in Catholic at that time. You know, and she sold the two restaurants. And the people just look at her and said, "Are you crazy? Why do you have to sell you? You have very, very good business." But she said, "Now I want to focus on my life because all my life is just work, 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 and I don't think about anything else." And I thought, when I have a lot of money, I can find my true happiness. And now it hit me. And her husband took her to many places, even to Lourdes in France and Fatima, and prayed to our Blessed Mother. And the doctor said, "You're not going to live that long." But the husband tried to help her, and said, "Say trust in God," and she's not afraid. She said, "What happened to my life? I will accept it." Even she converted to Catholic, you know, doing 
the ties she got went through chemo and through difficult times. And finally, she got the big miracle happened. She survived. And now, you know, she go everywhere and try, you know, to give in thanks to God and very religious. Even she wasn't Catholic before. When I see that person, I said, yeah, sometimes, you know, that's a big lesson we should learn. Yes, we need to work hard. You know, we need to work hard. But, but sometimes work is more beyond our, you know, God. Okay, even on Sunday, I mean, some other job, they require Sunday, but if we don't require work on Sunday, we take that day to be at the Lord and to give in th thanks to God because all we have is from the Lord. You think about that. All the blessing, everything we have from the Lord. That's why Jesus tells us today, you know, try to think about, you know, all we have and greed is one of the big sins. The Lord give us, you know, all the blessing, all we have. You know, we need to appreciate and give in thanks to God, and we need to give in thanks to God every day of our lives. And do we really put God first in our lives instead of other things? If we worship money or power or pleasure or other things, you know, we might end up unhappy. And that's a lot of people that did that. So let us reflect in our lives, especially all the readings today really challenge us. And even for me and for all of us who are here, challenge us to look at things differently. To know what is our goal in life? What is the meaning in life? If we say our goal is to get a lot of things, to find things for our own, like the man in today's gospel, everything about me, and I think we have to question about that about individualism, everything about me, our ego sometimes bigger than all the things, and that is a big problem. And that is reflecting our lives and ask the Lord for forgiveness and ask the Lord to help us so that everything we do and giving thanks to God and let us put God first in our lives and if we have all that we have, we should thank God and thank God to give us everything we have. And even if you know, we still accept him and say, thanks God that the Lord still you know, help me in our life. It's not easy, but let us pray together and help one another to grow in holiness and to help one another to share what we have to be more generous to others. And I thank for all of you because of you that we continue to grow in our parish. That's why I said we need money. You know, we need possession. But those things is not the only thing. Those things help us in is an instrument, you know, to help us to grow in holiness. You know, there's one thing we can take to heaven. That I share even at funerals. I said, you even cannot take one dollar to heaven. But one thing we can take all to heaven is love. Whatever we do to show our love, to do a lot of good things, and we can take those things in heaven because love is God is love. And in heaven is only love. And if we create love in this community, in this society, we already, we already you know, live in the love of God. Let us continue to build that kingdom of love, the kingdom of God, here on earth every day of our lives. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life of light, to God from to God, be God not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, 
is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of death. The life of the world to come. Amen. With hearts turned to the Lord, we present our prayers and need with confidence for the church and its leaders. That we church and world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer for all disciples of Christ, that we may be filled with the spirit of trust and reject the desire. To possess more than we need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer for our civic and world leaders, that God may instill in all nations an openness to welcoming those who seek to enter with good will in their hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer for all who lack food, clothing, or a home, that disciples of Christ and people with a generous spirit. May be inspired to offer from their abundance in order to address their material needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those being baptized into our faith community, Annalise Marie Cherici. To the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick, especially those listed in our parish bulletin, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, Josephine Zanzo, Gina Sasson, William Rosario, and Gloria Accorsi, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the intentions for which this Mass is offered, Frank Pudlow, Roman and Anna Romaniak, Diego Sinker Grani, birthday. Helena Tarnagradska, Alicia Artiega, Teddy Delatre, Patricia Schmidt, Neil O'Kane, Dennis Cahill. Prayer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the intentions and the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you listen with love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we ask you today. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. <clears throat> Please join us in our offertory hymn, which can be found in your Mother Guerin Psalm Book, number 20, Holy Table, Holy Bread. Again, found in your Mother Guerin Psalm Book, number 20. Oh. 
Lord, in this great sacrament, we declare our faith in you. We remember your covenant, love eternal, ever new. Come to us, Lord Jesus. Come to us, we pray. Jesus, come and stay. It is your holy word urging us to love and care. We have listened, we have heard. As you go, good news we share. Come to us, Lord Jesus. Come to us, we pray. come and stay so that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, to Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being, and why in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruit of the Spirit, to whom you raise up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion he took bread and gave him thanks broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and rest. 
resurrection you have set us free therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and blaze our bishop all the clergy and for all your faithful people remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen the Savior's command and form we dare to say Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. That mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And with your spirit, and now let us share some sign of peace with one another. Peace with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter into my roof. For the sake of the Lord, my soul shall be healed.
Amen. Amen. For those participating in Mass today um, via live stream, please close your eyes and bow your heads as I read the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please join in our communion hymn, which can again be found in your Mother Garen's psalm book, number 41, Come Share the Lord. Again, in your Mother Garen's psalm book, number 41. We gather here in Jesus' name. His love is burning in our hearts like living flame. For through His loving Son, the Father makes us one. Come take the bread, come drink the wine, come share the Lord. No one is a stranger here. Everyone belongs. Finding our forgiveness here, we enter. Forgive all wrongs. He joins us here. He breaks the bread. The Lord who pours the cup is risen from the dead. The one we love the most is now our gracious host. Come take the bread, come drink the wine, come share the Lord. We are now a family of which the here in the breaking of the bread we'll gather soon where angels sing we'll see the glory of our lord and coming king now we anticipate the feast for which we wait come take the bread come drink the wine come share the lord Let us pray.
a company with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts and in your never failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Visit Bethlehem Arts in the back of church this weekend with their display of handcrafted olive wood religious figurines. These items make beautiful gifts for a friend or loved one. Join us for Our Lady of Phantom after the 8 a.m. Mass at St. Cyprian's. Father Moises' Bible study on the Gospel of Mark continues this Thursday in the Fireside Room from 7 to 8 p.m. No reservations are needed. Please enter through the Pastoral Center. See the bulletin for additional information. Holy Hour is this Friday at 3 p.m. here at St. Celestine's. Join us for an hour of prayer. On August 12th, we will have a pilgrimage to the Shrine of St. Mother Guerin. See the bulletin and the website for more information. And finally, save the date. The Parish Taste is returning. Plan on joining us on September 10th for a day of food, fun, and friends. Yes, yeah, save the date, September 10th, remember. So don't go anywhere. So please uh, come for the taste. It's been three years we bring the taste back. So the only thing we need is pray for good weather. So, uh, and also at the end announcement, you see the Olive Good uh, Bethlehem Art. They are selling in the back of the church. So I just ask really to support them, you know, especially during the pandemic. They didn't have any tourists and also a political situation in there. So if you can help them to support the very, very nice, you know, Olive Wood in Holy Land. I've been to Bethlehem and uh, to, to the place. So they really need our support, especially for the Catholic over there. So if you want to help them to take a look, there's a lot of very nice and good, good uh, articles and all the, the statues over there. And also we have a 10 spot left for the pilgrimage. So this is opportunity if you want to go only one day pilgrimage to uh, St. Mary of the Wood to visit the beautiful holy ground of uh, St. Mother Theodore Guerin with the uh, museum of her museum, also her tomb over there. And we have uh, of you also to go and, and just take a look at the beautiful ground there. So if you want to go, so please just call the pastor center. So the bus is about 35 people. So if you want to go, I really as if you, it's only once in a lifetime, you know. I don't know if we're going to do it again, but hopefully we do more often. But we haven't done it for, uh, like, when we come by the Paris for a long time. Some people told me I look different. Yes, I look different with my new glasses. <laughs> they said I look smarter. I don't know. I look smarter and my hair look darker with my glasses. So I don't know why, but thank you for your, your compliments. <laughs> Have a good week, everyone. You, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. <laughs> oh, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has ended. Now let us go to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Please join us in our closing hymn, which can be found in your journey songbook, number 733, Lead Me, Lord. Again, in your journey songbook, number 733. Blessed are the poor in spirit, longing for their Lord. For God's coming kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are the sorrowing, for they shall be consoled. And the shall be theirs and the pure in heart shall see their God blessed are they whose hunger only holiness can fill for I say they shall be satisfied lead me Lord lead me Lord by the light of truth to 
seek and to find a narrow way. Be my way, be my truth, be my life, my Lord, and lead me, Lord, today.